there, hopefuls, and welcome back to season two of the Hopeful Simplicity Podcast. We're going to continue with our 15-minute finds to build on those small space successes and talk more about some common organizing situations, questions, and topics. I can't wait to continue to simplify, sort, and sustain our organized and less stressed lives together. So let's jump in. Today's 15-minute find, we're heading to the garage. Do you have any hobbies? Like maybe you enjoy picking up random tables from the side of the road, or maybe you used to have a magnificent garden, but then you got busy. Maybe you used to do woodworking that came with all these cute little neat tchotchke tool things. Sorry, I know that's not the right word, but just go with me. Do you have a collection of those used to be good intentions or used to be enjoyed pieces that are now just kind of sitting around random areas of your garage. Maybe the garden spade broke. Maybe the gloves got a hole in them. Maybe the specific tool you had to sand down the wood at a certain angle isn't being used anymore. Maybe you used to do a lot of DIY stuff with pallets, but you just don't have time, energy, or care for that anymore. I want you to look around your garage and look for those unused, broken, expired, outgrown pieces that came with a hobby, that came with an interest, that came with, when I had time, I would. We're not thinking about those as I'm keeping them just in case I get that time again or if something happens. Remember, simplifying is for your current lifestyle. So if those things that used to be interesting and used to find joy have now kind of shifted into the they're just taking up space, go ahead and declutter them outside of your garage. Now set those timers and tune in as we talk about today's organizing topic. Today's topic is brought to you by the monthly membership group. Are you looking for guidance along your organizing journey? Ready to get some answers to your organization questions or even just looking for some accountability in achieving your goals. The monthly membership group can help with all of that and more. To see if the group is the right fit for you, find details and clips at hopefulsimplicity.com. Getting the home team on board when it comes to organizing can feel super frustrating (laughs) and annoying and exhausting, but stick with it. And I'm saying stick with it because There's the mindset of you're the cheerleader, you're the leader, you're the home manager, you are handling everything. So maybe we can handle it with a little less err and resentment and a little more cheerleading at first. Now I know that sounds exhausting and if you know me, I'm not really like the peppy rah-rah type, but if over time, let's say I compliment you. Hey, thank you for doing the dishes. Every single night for two weeks after dinner. Thank you so much for doing the dishes. Oh, wow, this kitchen looks great. Hey, thank you. That's awesome. Hey, appreciate you doing that. Over time, people are going to start doing things without being asked to do them first. It's not going to be like, can you do the dishes? And then thank you. It'll just happen. We do the same things to ourselves, right? You encourage yourself to do things. You're like, all right, self, come on. You can do this. I feel so much better. My sink is empty. I feel so much better. I got that laundry put away, right? It's frustrating as all get out. I do not disagree. And sometimes it can be very draining. You're like, why do I always have to be the one that's encouraging people and being supportive and cheering us on? Why aren't they doing it back to me? But maybe they will. But somebody has to get it started. Unfortunately, that's us, right? Most of the time, that's us moms. And so we have to get it started, but we also have to do it for ourselves as well as the home team. We are the home team and self cheerleader section. Pull out the pom poms, get the foam fingers, grab the snacks on the way because that's what we're going to do. It's part of embracing the hopeful lifestyle, right? It's organized and working together as a home team to sustain that organized life. And part of that is, we've already talked about shifting our language from that resentful, angry-ish like feeling to a more 
positive, how can we make this work together feeling? So now we need to sustain that positivity since we've shifted our language, we need to sustain that with reinforcing, with cheerleading, with encouragement. It's not going to be an everyday thing. I mean, I get it. Like there are days where I'm just like, I don't have the energy to rah-rah for you today. It's been a long work day and I've done 500 other things and it's 90 degrees outside and the air conditioner doesn't work. There are days. It's just not gonna be top of mind and it's just not gonna be six copies of energy but I want you to think about like you know what you've worked so hard to start this organizing and hopeful lifestyle you've really thought about how we're talking to each other how we're organizing and sustaining this life together so now I want you to keep that momentum keep that chugga chugga going and be cheerful about it. So you don't have to be cheerful all the time, but if you notice something, say something. I know when I get really, really down, it's it's pushed to the front of my mind to compliment somebody because that lifts everything. It's if, if, if I'm super, super down, five people, five strangers is my goal if I get out of the house because you have to recognize the actions we're taking. And if that means I have to say, hey, it's Thursday, have you done your laundry? Hey, it's Friday, is the washer done from when you did your laundry yesterday? Oh great, thanks, I need to do a load. There's those things of consistently noticing when somebody does it, and I'll tell you right now, they aren't gonna thank you for making dinner every night. They're not gonna be like, hey, thanks mom for reminding me I have soccer practice. Hey, thanks honey for making sure we have a meal plan set for the week. Hey, babe, thanks for knowing where my keys are because I forgot to put them where they were supposed to go last night. It's not going to happen. You can call me. I'll be your cheerleader. I am sassy and snarkly and hopeful all the time. So if you need encouragement, listen to the podcast, read a book, send me a message. Because sometimes we need cheerleaders in our team, in our village, and we have our little hopeful village to keep each other going because yes, it's my job as the mom to lead this organizing journey. And that includes noticing when you do things, even if you're supposed to be doing them anyway. I mean, it's your day to do the wash. Great job, you did what you were supposed to, right? Like that sarcasm, that Oh, good job. I wish somebody gave me a cookie every time I was did what I was supposed to do. But it doesn't happen that way. <laughs> so if, if you're like, you know, I am so sick of people not thanking me every night that I make dinner, send me a message. I'll thank you for existing. And I will keep trying to encourage you to stay hopeful. But you know what? Maybe over time, once you compliment them, they'll start getting the ideal and see how grateful they are for you. They'll start being your part-time cheerleader. But for now, I'll grab my pom-poms and go, stay hopeful, friend, because it's how we talk to our home team and ourselves. And making sure that we acknowledge the positivity that can happen in an organized and hopeful lifestyle is a big thing. So take a minute, rah, rah, rah for yourself. I am so proud of you. Look at that. You did it today. You did something hopeful to continue your organized life and journey. Even if it's just listening to this podcast and being like, fine, Melissa, I'll give it a try. That is a cheerleading moment, and I'm proud of you. Today's episode was sponsored by the Organizing Style Quiz. Personal organizing styles can vary from person to person and space to space. Determining your style for success is the first step towards simplifying, sorting and sustaining an organized life. Grab your complimentary quiz online today. And that's it for today. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share this with all of your favorite friends. And until next time, stay hopeful.